All right, let's take a look at my newest sketchbook. This is the one that I just finished. Uh, I'm doing a handheld camera. I don't know how the sound's gonna be. I might have to redo all of this. I started off with an ode to Richard Scarry. One of the first books I ever read as a little kid was a Richard Scarry book. I have it up there, but it was basically a big book of little creatures or whatever. I mean, it had several of these guys in the book. You can kind of see them here. And I just thought it'd be nice to do practice some watercolors and do a little bit of a Richard Scarry theme. And just uh, was in a rut one day and decided oh, I'm just going to draw some characters. I tried to draw the main character from Saga, didn't turn out too well. Um, I'm also running out of gray, so I was trying to kind of just blast through the gray marker and uh, just try to be a little bit creative with the way I've positioned all my characters. But pretty simple image. Next up, we have the Martian Manhunter, one of my favorite heroes. Um, I think I did a video where I draw him and uh, I talk about how the color scheme that he has makes it really difficult to draw him and be happy with the way it looks. So this is one example, kind of went with a little bit of a yellow background and yellow reflective lighting on some of these surfaces. So you can kind of see that hopefully. Next uh, this is, uh, what's her name, Coriander, um, Starfire, here we go. And uh, just kind of practicing a lot on my uh, texts, my action texts and kind of like these action shots. And also practicing a little bit of the female figure, which I'm not very good at. Just kind of taking it from there. Once again, another one. This one I didn't do a video of, but I posted on, on Instagram. And people kept saying that it looks like JK Rowling, so that's pretty hilarious. Even my wife really thought that it looks like JK Rowling. Here's an image of the Green Lantern. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I think uh, I think this green and the line here, you can't really tell where the body is. So it looks like his body ends right here where this dark spot is, but it actually extends a little bit to this black line. So overall, not my favorite, but it looks okay, I guess. I really like this Spider-Man. I think I did a video doing this one, so I won't talk about it too much, but it came out really well. Next up. This is where I did this series of videos about um, people up against like a white background so they have that little bit of shadow right there in the back. Um, not a big fan of this guy but it doesn't look bad. She looks pretty good. I, I like the way that she's drawn, I like the way that um, the color patterns came out. Just overall a good drawing. And uh, you can kind of see here that I really enjoyed doing this. I used a lot of pinks and reds and orange and purple and brown and just kind of threw colors together and hope to make something cool. I'm really practicing a lot on this, like the action and magic stuff. All right, next. Uh, this was, uh, I did a series of like Disney themed things. So this was kind of like a little mermaid theme and I wanted to do something that looked kind of creepy but still looked like maybe it could be Ariel. So she has like kind of a regal shape and has this nice long staff and uh, it looked okay. The watercolor on this book, it doesn't hold up well. It, it bends the book in a really awkward way. It, it doesn't take very well, so the darks come out too light and the lights come out non-existent. Um, here's another just quick uh, drawing. I didn't really have any plan. Just bored one day, decided to do a drawing. This guy looks weird, but this guy looks really good. He looks like an interesting character. Something that you might find in like a children's book. Here's a mech, and again, I'm doing a lot of these action things and like the, you know, the the text and all that, and just more smoke and stuff. And uh, the mech itself looks kind of terrible, kind of bland, but whatever, it's fine. This is uh, Pocahontas, my take on Pocahontas. I, I didn't have the right colors. Uh, I used color pencil for this, and I didn't have the right colors. And um, the watercolor, when I would watercolor over it would really bend the page so I didn't want to do that too well so the coloring didn't come out as I wanted specifically but overall she looks kind of scary and creepy and it's kind of cool this is like a, I my take on beast and he's more of a hell creature and I did this with crayon I don't know if you can tell the graininess um, but I did this with crayon let's see if we can uh, zoom in here and you can kind of see it's really grainy really blurry it's more the Here's an Elsa drawing. I might take on Elsa, maybe like a grown-up version of Elsa. 
I don't know, not a lot to say there. I don't have a lot of variety of blues. This is in the summer, I, w I was feeling kind of fat, so um, that's how I was feeling that day. And uh, here's back at school, and I did like a Merlin, or like a, a magician. And just, uh, I, I actually only used highlighters to color this. I had like blue highlighters, and purple highlighters, and the green highlighters. I just kind of put them all together to color this drawing. And here's again more watercolors ruining my drawings. This one, the drawing itself is good, but the watercolor ruined it, so that kind of really made me angry. And this one's even worse. The drawing is okay, but the watercolor again ruined it for me, so I was really upset. Yeah, watercolor on this paper did not go well. And I kept trying because I bought a watercolor, um, like a pocket brush. I'll take it out. I bought one of these guys and I've been trying to use it and um, having some fun with it but not in this book. I actually have some watercolor um, paper over there over there on that side of my shelf. So uh, just testing the way that the watercolor kind of, the brush kind of blends uh, colors together and how to use it and just kind of whenever you buy something new use a page or two and just kind of get to know it you'll see that a little bit more. Here's more uh, using this brush pen, this watercolor brush, but just with black uh, pencil, very soft pencil lines. And I just drew some fish and decided to color them in whatever way I could. Again, the paper doesn't take very well, but it was good practice. Here's another day where I was bored, so I decided to draw a guy and then draw him in different positions because I have a problem with this position and this position specifically. These two are my weakest drawing positions where a head is tilted up or tilted down. It's frustrating. Um, here's another pretty cool one and uh, um, you can kind of, I'll actually just turn it here like this. You can kind of see I went through here and did a whole collection of just figure drawings. So there's like a really cool one of a guy like doing uh, on the ground, just kind of sitting there on the ground. Let's see if we can uh, uh, him sitting on the ground, and then there's another one over here of someone squatting, and then some jumps, and just some different uh, head shapes, and just a bunch of different things. Uh, every once in a while, I'll do one of these pages to kind of just summarize like what I know about the human figure. So let's move on. Not sure if I did a video on these, but uh, Nightwing, uh, I got a new black marker and uh, still trying to blow through my gray and you can kind of see me using some purple up here to give it like a, a different color in the hair compared to the actual outfit really like the way this one turned out with the markers I went through a series of all the all the Robins so I think this was Tim Drake the other one was Dick Grayson and uh, so this is red Robin and just kind of have the motif of the green and red with the yellow in the background just to accent that a little bit and then we have um, Jason Todd Robin uh, kind of cool. I kind of like the way it came out very clean, very, I love the jacket, has good texture on it. And overall, pretty happy with it. Again, the yellow in the background to really reflect on the Robin-ness of it all. I got to this point and I started wanting to write a book. And I'm actually working on this right now. But because I teach, because I'm doing soccer and I have other responsibilities, both at school and at my church, I've kind of put this on like a slow burn for now. Um, and I've been doing a lot of research because I want to do a Kickstarter for this book. And uh, he's not going to be a character, but I started designing some characters. And so this is a character that I came up with and I really like. I call him Mylon. That's his name. And uh, he's kind of just a little chubby cute kid. And uh, it's uh, basically just concept art for this book that I'm writing. And uh, I'm illustrating. It's going to be a children's book, probably 24 pages, all illustrated with some text. You know, a standard children's book. And uh, I just started doing some designs, and then I would take a break for a day and drew a Batman. Uh, I watched uh, uh, Jay Lee draw Batman in this style, so I thought, oh, I think I could do that. And I tried it, and it came out okay. It didn't come out terrible. Very happy with this drawing. The pencil. Uh, smudges look really cool and then the, the really sharp pen lines look really good. Then I uh, kept taking a break and I wanted to design some uh, some vehicles for my ship for my uh, for my children's book 
um, because my I'm gonna have like a little alien creature and she comes to Earth so I was thinking about some vehicle shapes that she could use as spaceships I kind of think this one's pretty cool and it has a very cartoonish and child-friendly like appeal to it so let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it has a child-friendly appeal to it but a lot of these came out a little bit interesting and it was just uh, more just me testing things than anything else uh, I really like this motorcycle and this looks like um, kind of a cool gunship is two guns here I don't know if you could tell it's floating on top of ground and then this other one in the middle is kind of bland and not not really anything special here are some notes for my children's books, some script notes and like check boxes of things that I, I need to do. And uh, I kept wanting to design an alien creature. I started off with this drawing. I thought it was uh, very cute, very simple, but not something that I really wanted. And then I thought, oh, what if she has a helmet? But then I thought, no, it just, no, I didn't like it. Then I came up with this drawing and I thought, oh, that looks really cute actually. And I did a side drawing of it and she looks awesome. The coloring came way later. It was actually just a black and white drawings. And then I ended up coloring them later. And I wanted to give her like a sidekick. It's kind of like a translator so she can talk to Mylon. Um, so I decided to have like this floating robot that floats using bubbles. And I came up with a few very simple designs. I kind of like this shape. But I went with this shape with these colors. So you can kind of see some notes here on the side. I like this one too. Overall, um, I'm kind of happy with my character designs for this children's book. And I decided to do like a kind of like a splash image. And it's just kind of them holding hands and just looking up. Again, the watercolor really kind of ruined the drawing. So I'll probably redo this image at some point and do it on like nice big paper to make it kind of a splash image for the Kickstarter. I want to have some nice pieces of art and concept art to show people so that you know they know it's not some guy trying to take their money. Here's more notes. Uh, I use this sketchbook very differently than I have before. I wrote a lot more notes in here than anything. Um, more notes, more notes, and then another splash image and an example of her ship. I hated it. I don't have the right color blues. Um, I only have like a dark blue and a very dark blue. So it doesn't really help. And then I have like a like a turquoise. It's just terrible. This image is not good. It's not going to be part of like any splash image or something on like the Kickstarter site or anything. And then I went into these series of um, kind of like these uh, uh, Art Deco style drawings of different uh, heroes. And I, I did videos on these so I'm not going to spend time on them. But um, I had fun doing them. I just kind of needed a break from all the children's book stuff. This one's terrible. Uh, this one, no one understands what's happening, but technically he's supposed to have his like arms extended. And then also his legs are doing that Spider-Man thing where they go like that. So yeah, I don't know. Did another giant splash image, posted this one on Instagram. And this is kind of supposed to be Green Arrow shooting in like the city and kind of like ripping open a page or something. I don't know. Just uh, started doing some cool stuff here. Sorry if I'm turning the book a lot. I didn't realize how many images I drew um, vertically. Uh, here's another Green Arrow. I went through a whole phase because I was reading Green Arrow Volume 4, I believe. That was really good. The New 52 one. I think this is the one I drew the video on for the Martian Manhunter about not really liking his uh, his outfit and the way it looks overall. It's not very happy. I don't know. I don't know, if I was working at DC, I don't know what I could do to make his costume more memorable, simple, and have better colors overall. I don't know what I could do. Power Girl, uh, she's cool, I like her. Um, I don't know, no comments here. She came out okay, I messed up her boobs, as usual, but you know, that's how we learn. Again, uh, every couple months, or every couple weeks, or every couple drawings, I do a series of drawings that are just uh, thumbnail drawings of uh, characters in different positions. So you can kind of see me here working out different body shapes and side views and head shapes. And then I have like these blacked out silhouettes which I find really help me when I want to try some weird position or something. And then I go ahead and try them down here. Some of them are successful like uh, maybe this one and this one's okay. Some of them are a complete fail where the arms are longer than the legs it looks like. It's not good. Here's another splash image 
of the alien girl meeting uh, meeting Mylon and her little robot. The robot's gonna serve kind of as a translator for her language. Uh, here's a Hulk drawing. Pretty sure there's a video on this somewhere. <clears throat> Excuse me. Raven. I love Ray Ray. She's awesome. Um, I love the way her skin came out. It looks very, very natural. I love it. Uh, this one just got on Instagram, but you can kind of see Samus fighting a, a, a Ridley monster. Or Riley, I forgot the name of it. And uh, just, again, just working on my um, action shots and kind of drawing her like zapping through. I love the way the cave looks. This is like one of my favorite pages in the whole sketchbook. It just came together really nicely, even though the background could use work. But anyway, here's one I did at school with just using Sharpies. Not the greatest position or drawing. What the heck is this arm doing? But overall, if you like delete this and just kind of look at it like that, it looks really cool. I'm kind of happy with it. Supergirl. Love me some Supergirl. Haven't seen the show yet. Got to get on that. Uh, and this is when Inktober started. So here you can kind of see me doing, uh, this is a StarCraft II probe and a couple of Inktober sketches. Some of them I posted on Instagram, others I did not. For example, this Robotnik failure over here, or Eggman. I love the pot, and uh, I went through a phase of like evil candy, basically. Get a few more, one more of those. And just kind of kept drawing for Inktober, just using pens and very simple illustrations. I would use pen and a highlighter to just give it like some, you know, some motif or some aesthetic, something to pop out. I really like this chubby little airplane thing, really cute. And I thought this guy came out okay, so I decided to do more wheeled creatures. Uh, but here's another example of uh, my alien creature and uh, some expressions for her robot. You can kind of see I drew in some eyebrows for him. I don't know if he'll have a gender, but you know, whatever. And then uh, just a flying contraption thing, kind of fun. Again, more wheeled robot things and more Halloween based things, a giant insect. This is also going to be for the for the book because I want them to like go on an adventure and fight off these giant creatures like giant insects and, and you know like flying fish with like angler fish and super cool stuff. Then I did a Ninja Turtle and uh, the movie Pan came out and I saw Hugh Jackman and I thought I can draw something like that. Weird creature. No, not sure what it, it's all about, but okay. Another Ninja Turtle. Totally colored the wrong color here. Should be blue. I love this one. Came out really nice. Actually, this page has some nice drawings on it. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. That one looks really good. The wheels came out really nice and even. And the shadow came out really nice. It gives it some good image. Not sure about the helmet, but this came out really pretty. But then I realized... Hey, I can't draw clouds to save my life. Okay, moving on. So I came up with the names for um, my, my characters. I have them up there, some brief descriptions. And I wanted to do an alphabet for, for the alien. Essentially, I want her to speak in an alphabet and then have, the, and have that like drawn in on the image and have the alien translate to, um, to Mylon, the human. So I decided to do some simple things like uh, how to spell Mylon's name up there, how to spell help. Then I started uh, looking up some options on what to print, how to print books and stuff and took notes on that. This is more just research on Kickstarter, research on uh, book deals and how much it would cost me to print out different books and shipping and basic totals. Took a break. Up here you can kind of see more uh, notes and just a compacted version of the story. Folded that in there, taped it in, and then a simple Ninja Turtle here. Love this guy, looks really cool. The coloring came out nice, and I got one guy who wanted a commission, so he got a commission for that. Constantine, I think he looks pretty cool, I love his jacket. And uh, Black Mage, because Final Fantasy IX is awesome. And then uh, more just simple drawings, this is actually a student of mine. This one right here, her name's Faye. Howard the Duck, and then uh, another really simple one wheel design. And then uh, underwater mechs, I started going through this whole like, oh, underwater, how cool. It's like a little claw thing, that's pretty cool. 
Then I started uh, researching how to draw clouds in videos, and uh, I started practicing that. You can kind of see that here. And then I started trying to draw some basic imagery like a house silhouetted against a, a background of clouds, or a person sitting on a hill and there's clouds in the background, or like a valley with some clouds, and just kind of incorporating like a tree, you know, clouds, a background, just different layers of a drawing, a foreground, a middle ground, and then a background. Um, just kind of going from there. Then I decided to do something a little bit bigger scale, so I did a, a nice house with uh, clouds in the background and uh, it didn't come out too bad so this is kind of the imagery style I would use for the children's book maybe for the house that Mylon lives in he lives in a field in one house on in a field so cloudy and planes and stuff and then I bought some uh, some Japanese brush pens it's uh, these Bimoji I don't know how you would say them but they look like that just testing out different ways of drawing with them to see uh, their consistency. This is the, um, this one is this one that I'm holding, which has a very long, thin brush, and then the other one is much, much. Uh, let me get it out here. Shorter and thicker, so it was much easier to control than the brush pen. Uh, this is the other one, much fatter, shorter. It doesn't, um, it doesn't bend when it hits the page. This one does. This one. You kind of see me here. This one, when you hit the page, you can bend it. And like, you know, you can do stuff like that. Um, but I always do that so that I can test them, test their consistency and the, how quickly they dry, uh, all kinds of things. And I just keep some notes in case I want to buy them again. Uh, did a practice for another commission. This is uh, anime. I don't really do anime anymore. I used to do it a lot when I was in high school. More notes for the book, just some checklist things. I actually need to check off a few more of these things. Even more notes. As you can see, I'm really taking this seriously. I, I really want to make sure that I do a good job on Kickstarter, getting everything properly ready, and uh, making sure that people can uh, purchase stuff and feel free and comfortable to donate. So I took it very seriously. Lots and lots of notes. Lots and lots of researching, you know, uh, I looked up statistics, so you know December and January are the worst months to do a Kickstarter. So I'm gonna wait until probably February when it starts to pick up, and I'll launch my Kickstarter then, which is fine because it means soccer season is over. Star Wars trailer came out, so I did a BB-8, an R2, and then I forgot what the name of this one R4. Just kind of did this one was really quick. It took about two minutes or three minutes with a pen, and then later I went back with an orange pen and colored it in. This one was also quick during parent-teacher conferences. And then this, I went home that night, needed to relax. So I did that one. Uh, Ant-Man, uh, my take on Ant-Man. And again, practicing a lot with that. Here's uh, Bebop. I'm sorry if the camera's a little bit shaky. I lost my tripod. Bebop, uh, not sure how I feel about the skin tone. Doesn't look bad, I just don't think it looks piggy. And then Rocksteady, shooting a gun. That looks pretty good. Uh, kind of like the way his skin tone looks. It looks like a rhino. And I did Krang. Krang is awesome. He is such a grumpy Gus. I love him. And uh, I drew some uh, basic... Uh, it's so hot, I just want winter to come already, so... I feel like if I draw it, then it'll happen. And my wife was playing Legend of Zelda, and so I sat down next to her and I started drawing Link. It's for kicks. More Halloween stuff, because Halloween's coming up. Actually, it's today, day of recording this video. Um, cool little simple stormtrooper. Kind of see that there. This was done with just one pen, just this brush Japanese pen, this one. So you can kind of see the thicks and thins. Um, the consistency varies. I'm not sure how I feel. Would I buy another one? I don't know. I think the Pentel pocket brush pens are better. Did, uh, went back and did some superheroes. I felt like it's, it had been a while, so went back and did some of these guys. You can kind of see them here. My apologies if the uh, video doesn't have the best quality. I don't like Cumberbatch, but I'm looking forward to the movie. It might be cool. Um, it's got the little eye. That's pretty good. And Daredevil, because, man, Daredevil's awesome. Uh, again, all of these drawings are on Instagram, too. This is uh, This one's not yet. Actually, this might go up today, 
uh, just a basic Spider-Man drawing with some really heavy cast shadow. Like imagine like a bright light right behind him. So it's like really bright around him and really dark in front. Just wanted to capture that a little bit. And then this one I just uh, did today and it's just like an army dude checking out some stuff. It doesn't look too bad. Um, I like the color palette. I feel like throughout the sketchbook my coloring got a lot better. Uh, more consistent. I, when I started I was very diff it was very difficult for me to color. You can kind of see, this is the last drawing in this book by the way. You can kind of see this image for example. The coloring is very comfortable, very relaxed. But if we flip to the first drawing with uh, the same markers you can tell that there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of problems going on here. Like I didn't know how to blend colors very well. Even in skin, this doesn't look natural. I mean, it was just a nightmare. But overall, this has been a very eye-opening sketchbook. I'm not sure if I would buy this one again, just because the paper doesn't take watercolor. So that frustrated me to no end. But uh, I like the size. Um, and uh, this has been probably the most diverse sketchbook I've ever had, so I'm very happy with it. Thanks for watching the video. If you want, you can check out the last video I posted in the link below. There's also Facebook, Instagram, and Etsy links provided here for you to check out and hopefully see some stuff you like. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.